Hello everybody, this is your freelance teacher and I'll be with you for the next 15-20 minutes or so talking about something actually intelligent for a change in the sense that we are now unshackled from school. A freelance was a knight in the old days whose lance, whose sword was for hire, hence freelance, freelancer, that's the origin of the word. And I'm disconnected from work right now, so I'm talking to you about some of the glorious things that are going on in the world that won't come up in the school building. And today we're talking about the NPC meme, non-playable character, this gray-faced meme that has come out that is worthy of discussion. This topic is actually cutting the line because I wasn't going to talk about this today, but it's such what they call in the school teacher game, teachable moment. And you say teachable moment at a teacher conference and everybody nods their head and, you know, they're like, yeah, and they maybe cry a little bit, you know. And so it's one of those deals where the, the you have to bring it up. You have to talk about it. So, I, so here we are. The NPC is a non-playable character in video games. Now, I'm not a gamer. Not since the mid to late 1990s of any stretch. But you see these things in games and they just exist to move the story along. They don't have any purpose other than to just be there and maybe say a line or look a certain way. So the NPC meme is this kind of soulless, automaton, blurb blot of gray software that just can do one thing. And this is perfect rhetoric. The NPC meme, this gray stone face, pointy nose, flat mouth, two dots for eyes, is spectacular rhetoric. Now, what do I mean by that? Rhetoric, remember, is the use, the artful use of language that enables you, by your use of rhetoric, to change people's minds or get them to do something, or move the needle a little bit on their thinking process, get them to slide a little bit, or make answer, you know, ask some questions. In other words, to be, to be uh, uh, rhetorically skilled is to be able to change minds, to make people think, to get them to question maybe what they were thinking before. And all of this in the quest for truth. Rhetoric is an old ancient Greek tool that was recognized thousands of years ago in what used to be an honorable search for truth. And of course, this is another topic. We've gotten away from that now. Everybody's trying to get everybody else to buy into their narrative. And there's no such thing as a quest for truth. And you have the postmodernism types and it just turns into a hellstorm very quickly. But the old tools work and they work and they can be proven by how people react. Now this NPC meme is brilliant because what you'll have is you'll have it represent the progressive liberal community, which has certain things where nobody not only de deviates from the narrative, and we've talked about the narrative, but they don't, they don't deviate from the narrative on anything. Meaning, think of the topics that we have today. Climate change, global warming. Uh, the 2016 election. Public schools. Taxes. Uh, what else? You can, you can write it in stone. Um, organic food. The right kind of clothes to wear. Race. Ethnicity. Travel. Your progressive liberal class they all have the same opinion. So the NPC meme ha puts NPC faces, these gray faces, the best one I've seen, puts these gray NPC faces on like a panel on CNN and it says breaking news, orange man bad, orange man racist. And they all have the same face. And now how do you know, now to people like us, that's just, that's just funny. You kind of chuckle a little bit. How do you know the rhetoric works, though? That seems pretty innocuous. Okay, they're all automatons. I get it. They can't think. Okay, whatever. Fine. But you know the rhetoric works because the reaction of the progressive liberal class is out of this world. It's almost as if you dropped an atom bomb on their laps. The, the people are going, the progressive liberal, liberal types are going berserk. 
Twitter, either yesterday or the day before, officially put out a statement that they are banning the NPC meme. Think about that. It's just a people, bunch of guys on 4chan and 8chan who came up with this thing almost by mistake. And you have this NPC stuff getting banned after a few days. You have extremist groups, Muslim extremist groups mostly, but not exclusively. You've got wacky stuff on Twitter, not banned, right? I saw some dude in a cage get lit on fire in the Middle East on Twitter, not banned. There's some lady out there named Linda Sarsour and she says all kinds of crazy stuff, not banned at all. Some progressive liberals said they wanted to put, uh, it was an act, an old actor from the old days who, who no one remembers, uh, so saying they wanted to put Donald Trump's young son in a cage or in a room with pedophiles or something like that. Not banned, but the NPC meme banned. Like, screaming. I even typed in NPC into Google before doing this. I wanted to verify that it was non-playable character, right? I remember some stuff from those days, but not everything. And the New York Times first hit on Google, the New York Times article on what is the NPC meme. And guess what? Pro-Trump. Uh, far right. Talking about how dis disruptive it was and how Twitter banned it because it qualifies as election interference. <laughs> I mean, it's you can tell it works. You can tell rhetoric works from the results. And what are the results? Screaming from the mountaintops about the NPC meme. And the other thing that makes it work, where you can tell it's good rhetoric, not just the reaction, right? I tell students, I've told you, you can tell more about something from the reaction than from the action itself. The Trump election is the is is exhibit A in the last three years. Trump comes in and everyone goes bananas. People go crazy. So you can the ruling class particularly goes crazy, particularly the media class, including Fox, right? They went berserk. That dude was not supposed to win that election. How do we know this? We didn't know it then. Most people were thinking, ah, oh, Trump's a Republican, whatever. He's going to run. He's going to lose to Hillary Clinton. Okay, fine. That's what everyone was saying. Then he wins and they go nuts. So you can tell that that is his, his way is like a rhetorical stab in the chest to the elite class. The other reason why this reaction stuff is a good gauge is because the level of the reaction, that's an old Saul Alinsky trick in terms of the far left organizer from the olden days who said how to get, you know, how to get things done, how to get the leftist agenda in. He was a good teacher with that kind of thing. And another reason why you can tell it's good rhetoric is because it's true. And I did this with students today. I said, and I don't, it wasn't even, it was, I was just talking about rhetoric. I wasn't necessarily talking, oh, no, I was talking about the NPC meme because I mentioned Twitter and a student was shocked that I had a Twitter account and shocked that I knew what a meme was. Now, now think about that. Think about how in the dark you've got to be to think that your teacher doesn't know these things. But I guess some of the adults are, are clueless with this kind of stuff. I'm not. So I said, yes, I do like memes and I do have a Twitter account. And she asked, well, what are your favorite memes? Uh, that's kind of a cool conversation now. And I mentioned the NPC meme. And she didn't know what I was talking about in, in a different, you know, different group. Not going to be involved in that kind of stuff. But um, what you see is with the NPC meme, I mentioned it and I said to students, well, here's the best way to describe it. Think of all the teachers on your schedule and think about what their opinions on major issues would be. 2016 election, Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump. Global warming, right? It's the same list, the environment, taxes, the size and role of government, the size and role of federal government, war. And I said, and ch openly challenging a group of seniors and good seniors, this is not, this is kind of like a, an exclusive group, openly challenging them, and I told them this, I said, you and I both know that 90% of your teachers have the same opinion on all of those issues. And now think about that. 
right? They're going to have six to eight instructors in front of them every day. And there's a list of topics. What did I list? Six things, seven things to have those different six or eight people in front of you. And you can go back to freshman year, make it 35 teachers you've had over your high school career. And on all of those issues, all of the opinions are the same. That's the NPC meme. It's just a same gray face, different hair, different clothes. And what do you get? Government is good. Global warming is going to kill us. Taxes are needed to build the roads. Public schools educate children. Without government, we are all going to die because it keeps us safe. They, they, uh, Democrats are good and Republicans are bad. Trump is a racist. I mean, every single one, okay, 90% of their teachers have those opinions. So when you see the NPC meme in action, on Twitter particularly, it is glorious because it's such a fantastic example of rhetoric. You have these automatons, the, these sheeple, as I used to call them in the old days, where they're not really people. They're just sheeple. They literally read something, an outfit like the New York Times, or they go on CNN, for Christ's sake, for their opinions. And they just respond to authority. That's all they do. They're just, they're soulless, carbonite beings of emptiness that exists for the people who run the narrative of the United States. They exist to just carry the narrative. And they don't think for themselves. And a lot of people are like this. Global warming is probably the best topic because global warming has become a religion. And what I mean by that is ask your teacher about global warming. And they'll say it's real. It's caused by man. The temperatures are rising. The earth is getting hotter. And unless we do something about it, which usually means paying money, because it always deals with money for some reason, that unless we do something, that it's a terrible catastrophe and it's all going to be over. They all say the same thing. I challenge you to go to one of your teachers and say, look, um, what's the other side of the global warming debate? That's one of the best ones. The other one is 2016 election. Go to your teachers and say, aren't you happy that Donald Trump won in 2016? They will probably curl up in a ball, screaming, soiling their drawers. They'll look at you like you've turned into a purple alien. Maybe they'll grab their hair and start screaming. They all have the same opinion. And the crazy part is, this is why the NPC meme works and is super effective, is if you were to ask them what's bad about the aftermath of the 2016 election, we know what they would say. Think about it. What would they say? Trump won and he's a... And everybody knows what goes in that blank, right? He's a racist. That's all they'll say. Will they talk about the policy? No. What's happening in the United States now? No. Because they don't know. They have no idea what's going on with the country. Like, what's the, what's the economy doing? What's the jobless rate? Are people doing better economically? Are schools performing better? I mean, nothing. They don't have anything to say. And it's not only the adults. I mean, the, the, the students are guilty of this, too. I had a colleague who um, said, uh, who mentioned stuff, who, who was kind of like accused by a student of being a Trump supporter. She said, well, you know, it's a mixed bag. There's good and bad. And the student, of course, was angry at that. Like, well, what's good? And she said, well, the unemployment rate is very low. You know, the, the people, more people have jobs. And it the, 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 there was a look of disbelief because the, the person was like, well, you know, that's not Trump. That's his advisors. And so then, you know, this a teacher, a, a colleague of mine who's smart was like, well, then I'm glad he has good advisors near him that allow him to allow the unemployment rate to be low. And and could not compute. Student brain exploded and um and and I think mumbled something about it. Well, his advisors are stupid. And and it's it's just that that's an NPC. That's the rationale of people that you're dealing with, right? The student, it was the same way. Trump is bad. Oh, this good thing happened? Not Trump. 
It's his advisors. Well, then he's got good advisors. No, his advisors are bad. You might as well put the gray face down. I'm going to try to find an NPC cover for this video. Hopefully it won't get wiped off of YouTube. And that's the NPC meme in a nutshell. It's armies of gray, thoughtless, one-note songs that do nothing but all repeat the same opinion. And I don't want to belabor the point, but because it just came up, I have to. This Brett Kavanaugh stuff is exhibit B for the NPC meme. People were told that Brett Kavanaugh was a bad guy because he was a Republican. Okay, fine. That's They've been doing that for 30 years. Both sides do the same. The other side is bad. The other team sucks. Okay, fine. Well, I've been doing a justice unit on people being falsely accused, and I use the Innocence Project as a, as a project, a school project. Look at the Innocence Project. Here are people who were accused of murder, rape, uh, uh, grand theft, um, hardcore crimes and put on death row or given life sentences, usually it's rape because they the the the, the DNA kits, the DNA technology wasn't uh, uh, polished until the mid 1990s, late 90s, and these people are in, some of them in prison since the late 1980s. So the idea of then the Scottsboro boys and the Duke Lacrosse case are the two exhibits that I use because these are people who were falsely accused without proof. With, and they, the people's lives were affected. So the Kavanaugh thing, same thing. The dude is accused by a woman with no proof. She seems credible was the rhetoric, was the language given out by the overlords to the proles to continually say, to show that the Kavanaugh thing was going the way that they said it should go, right? So you have somebody accusing someone else with no proof. And that was supposed to mean something. Yeah, but but what about the Scottsboro boys that we teach in school where those young black men were accused by two white women and it was just made up? You can't go by an accusation. The Duke lacrosse players, the lawyer was disbarred because those guys didn't do anything. They were just accused without proof. And then it turns out there's no proof, neither proof for the Scottsboro boy incident, no proof for the Duke lacrosse hoax, no proof for any of it, no proof for any of that stuff. So now you have the bad guy, Brett Kavanaugh, whom, of whom I'm not a fan, I'm not a, a Kavanaugh backer, but this accusation was seen, to, the people were told two things. The accusation should be taken seriously, even though there's no proof. All the and all the NPCs got in line and nodded their heads. Yes, yep. That that's an accusation. I don't care. There's no proof. It, we're taking it seriously. And the other thing was the language that's used. She sounds credible. You can't find a progressive liberal who didn't say that. I had somebody tell me that on social media. She seemed credible, right? The word credible was all it took. That's it. Well, sounding credible isn't enough, but the NPCs, these non-playable characters who inhabit your world, who do nothing but listen to authority, and they reach out to authority for their opinions, they just went along like an army. And so the NPC meme is perfect. It's rhetorically perfect. It is an explosion of truth. And that's why people are going crazy. So the lesson to take away from this is you can tell that something is working. You can tell that the rhetoric is effective. And that's why memes are so fantastic because it encapsulates a truth so effectively that the people who it's aimed at, they know it's true and they just hate it. And so I want you to go on, to, go on the internet, type in NPC meme and you'll see what's being talked about. And you'll see why it works. And if you, you know, you want to do some rhetor rhetorical dalliances to get people to, you know, buy into what you're selling or kind of move the needle in, 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 in independent thought, you go do what you're going to do. All right. So if you want to take that optional homework assignment, feel free. I'll talk to you soon.